Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to use decals, how to import correctly and set up the decals in uh, material uh, so then you can use them properly in your level. I will also be teaching you how to make sure that the decal is not applied to surfaces that you do not want the decal to be interacting with. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is is import the decal that we want to be using. In this case, I'm going to be using a no parking symbol. Once it's imported in here, let's double click. And just to make sure that we're using the alpha properly, I'm going to um, change the compression setting to user interface and the texture group to UI. Uh, I know that this works as an effective way to make sure that the background alpha is kept because you can see here in the preview we now have the background alpha checkered box thing but we can't just drag it out into the level and go oh I want this as the decal on the ground first we have to make a material in fact you can right click here and go create material once the shaders have finished compiling let's double click to open Now in here, we want to click on this piece and change our material domain to deferred decal. We also want to change our blend mode from opaque to translucent. Next, I'm going to get our bottom pin here. This is for the alpha layer. I'm going to drag this into opacity. You see now in a little preview here, we can see wrapped around a circle mesh, we have our no parking. Let's apply and save. Now up here in search classes, let's look for deferred decal. This material you see here is just what's in place uh, when there's no like decal applied to it. It's just showing you the default. So now with our decal selected, first thing that I like to do is make sure it's not as tall because it's covering a lot of space when it's very tall. And for instance, when it is really tall, if I make it tall again, uh, you then get a thing where it will apply it very stretched to services like that. Um, there is a way to get around that though, and I'll get to that once we've actually finished applying our decal. First though, let's just bring this over here. I'm gonna put it up against a wall. Now in our decal material, if we search parking mat, Yes, we should be able to apply this material here because under the material domain in here, we've set, we have selected it to be a deferred decal. I'm just going to change the sizing on this because it's rather big for a no parking sign on the ground. So now if we hit play, We now have a little no parking decal on the ground. Now you can use this for basically any kind of ground decal that you need. Um, uh, for instance, maybe you have some some roads and you want to put down the like the like zebra crossings or some or some arrows that point which way the lane can go to. You know, like all of that cool stuff. Uh, but you see um, here on on my foot. On the on the uh, character's foot, the uh, decal is actually being applied to our character as well. To change that, all we're going to have to do is find our character blueprint. Oops! And under our uh, mesh selected, let's search decal. And under a rendering tab, we have receives decals. 
So we want to uncheck that, compile and save, and that basically means that the like surface, you know, like the the material that our character has uh, will not take in any decal information. So if we go back into our level, before how we had it that the foot was getting covered with the decal, now it's not at all. The uh, decal looks more uh, grounded in, in our world because uh, it's not actually overlapping uh, with anything that stands over it. The next thing that you might notice with this decal is that whenever part of the decal is shaded, uh, it doesn't really become uh, visible anymore. Uh, if I go on an angle like this though, you can sort of see some, some sheen from where the decal is meant to be, but from most angles you can't really see it. Uh, I do have a quick fix for this, although I wouldn't recommend this as a total fix because um, it sort of breaks the lighting for the decal. Like for instance, uh, if you have a level that goes into nighttime, uh, I don't think this will probably work very well because, um, you know, just then I made it a emissive. I dragged a link into the emissive color. Um, but what that does is that when it's in the shade, uh, it doesn't go away anymore. The only issue with that is the, um, you would expect that it being in the shade that it would go darker at least a little bit you know we we wanted to get darker but still be visible um at this time i don't really have a compromise for that um it's just a awkward case where for the moment it's only going to be one or the other um if i do uh figure out a way to get this rendering properly though I will make a follow-up video to this and I'll make sure to link it at the end of the video in the end screen annotations. Uh, with that being said though thank you guys for watching I hope this tutorial has uh, pleased you and uh, taught you everything that you need to know about placing decals in the world. Uh, if you haven't yet please make sure to subscribe to Aurora Gameworks. I've been Andrew and thank you for watching. Take care guys.